Right. And that's yeah. for the people that get caught up in the rat race and yeah. the nine to five and doing things because they feel like they need to, or that's the society's expectation of them. Yeah. And I think that that's probably going to be the biggest thing this film does is it gets mm. people to question their assumptions yeah. and the life that they've been living. Mm. That etch a sketch moment was great. And it, it, mm -hmm. it really is. I think what was nice about that is because throughout the film, we're going from your guy's monologue to, to these interviews and like they're, 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 interweave but they're not really connected and i think that was a moment towards the end of the film where Irwin brings up this comment that kind of ties together your whole story yeah. about the fact that you were on this path but you didn't have to go keep going and you yeah. could actually stop and get off and etch a sketch yeah it didn't blow it up my yeah. uh my favorite moment because you know i am the voice of compassion here um when i and i did i conducted the interview of that gentleman at the end who started choking up talking about it was one of the uh, everyday minimalists yeah he was choking up talking about his experience with minimalism and as i was interviewing him um i just i was getting choked up right with him because it just i don't know it just means so much to see our work have that type of effect on someone um it's like when someone comes up to us uh, at an, a live event we do and they're like you have no idea but you saved my life mm. and i mean how many times have we heard that man uh, I, 17 times. at least 17 <laughs> times and you better oh, be keeping track <laughs> actually and every time we hear it it just it, it feels better and better and better so seeing um an everyday minimalist uh just kind of tell their story and genuinely um and emotionally communicate that uh that's that, that's one of my favorite moments of the of the whole film